Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I've got my mate Pradi here. He's actually a MX coach. So he's going to be coaching me today, showing me some technique that I may be lacking in um, and things that I really need to work on. So I'm really excited to take you guys along with the day. We're at Stanmore, which is Gold Coast Motorcycle Club. Um, it's an awesome day. There's hardly anyone here on the track, so it's perfect for us. Calm down before you stress up the groove. The energy a little different when the blessings accrue. Hey, who you talking to? Just know I ain't no regular fool. Could be anything in the world, but I can never be you because I stand tall like I'm on my tiptoes. Baby, you think a little. So I think um, one thing super important, like when we're starting off like a coaching day like today is to, for me to watch the rider, or the coach to watch the rider, so I can kind of analyze what I think she's doing wrong. And then that way, when she comes off the track, she can tell me what she's feeling and thinking, and uh, we can sort of work together to then sort of plan out the coaching session. With moto, you never really know what the track condition's gonna be like. You're not gonna know how the athlete's feeling. So even just from watching now, and it's such a common thing with newer riders, is that they're just too far back. So that front end wants to push a lot and the bike doesn't really want to turn. So I think we're going to start off today's session and I'll talk to Taylor about it. I think we'll start off today's session trying to get it in more of a, an attack position, especially in those turns, just to help that bike turn. That'll then give her a little bit more confidence and with confidence, you'll find that speed. So from what I, from what I see so far, like the fundamentals are there. It's just now today about explaining why she needs to do these fundamentals and just changing them a little bit. Like her turning position looks good. The braking position's good. Yo. Just today's gonna be a little bit, like just a few minor tweaks and just simplifying things for her, just so when something's happening on the bike, I want her to understand why those things are happening. So she can troubleshoot it while she's actually out on the bike instead of just making a mistake after a mistake. But all in all, she got a pretty good base. I think today will be a good day. How long have you been riding for? Damn, since I was like five. Just on the peewees, started at the peewees. Rode and then raced professionally for about five years and then kind of just got into more like the coaching, free riding, yeah. like more enjoying, less grinding kind of yeah. front or motor. And now I just love what Taylor's sort of doing with trying to get women into the sport and not even women, just like trying to introduce people in general into the sport and just trying to make it less scary by, you know, like offering, you know, the girls can ride sort of series and things like that. But my biggest thing, first and foremost, is we just want to simplify motor in general and like, especially riding. So for me with riding, there's four things. So number one thing, and it's, in no, uh, and it's in no order, is body position. So that's where you are on the bike, when you're accelerating, when you're braking, when you're turning, okay? It's just about what your body's doing on the bike at all times. The second thing is control use. So that's how smooth are you with the clutch? How good are you with your front brake? Okay, how smooth are you with the throttle? Are you really aggressive or are you not? Are you locking up your back wheel when you're braking? And there's line selection. So it's where you're going out on the track. Are you taking nice smooth lines? Are you going straight through the middle in the deep ruts? Okay, or what are you sort of looking for when you're out on the track? And then the fourth thing is vision. So where you're looking. Okay, much like any action sport or any sport in general, your vision is super important. What's coming up? What am I focusing on? That'll then lead to like what you're thinking about. Okay, and you want to, and wanting to stay focused. All right, so it's body position, control use, line selection, and vision. All yeah. right, it's just about breaking those things down today. So from what I saw out there, the number one thing that I think we really want to work on today is body position. But I feel like we should go through sort of an exercise of each. Yeah. So when you're then passing this information on, you have one of each to sort of pass on. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So the first thing I really want you to do is I want you to stand up on the bike as we are now, okay? So I just want you to stand up as though you're sort of riding off. Like okay. riding? Yes. See, right there? Perfect. All right, and this is sort of what I explained on the video uh, when you're out there riding, and I'm like, I feel like all your fundamentals are good. You yeah. just need to know about when to do them and why. Yeah. Okay, so I want you to get back in what is typically a braking position. So can you get back on the bike as though you're braking? Like, yeah. maybe like that? Okay, so keep going back. Keep going really? back. Yeah, keep going back. Now, let, now keep your knees forward and keep your bum back. That's it, elbows up now. Really? Elbows up, El elbows up, elbows up, elbows up. Okay, see there? That's, That's so uncomfortable. Strong. Now I need you to be able to use your re-brake at the same time. Yeah, so you've got to get your feet in there. Elbows up a little bit higher. 
that's it. That's so uncomfortable, eh? Mm -hmm. That's because it's, and that's what today's all about. It's about <laughs> getting you comfortable in yeah. the correct position so then you can get comfortable. Yeah. All right, now I'll explain why. So go back up to your, what you thought was your breaking position before. Okay, so you feel like there? Yeah. Yeah, elbows weren't that hard before, bro. <laughs> they weren't that low either. <laughs> All right, jump up to where you think, or what you thought. I feel like it was probably like that. <laughs> okay, cool. Now I want you to hold your brake on super hard. And Corey, I might get you just to hold the bike so it doesn't fall over. Come on this side, bro. All right, so go into your brake position. The, my one or yours? What, yeah, what you think's right. Okay, and I'm going to push you in the back, all right? And just, and it'll, it'll make sense in a little bit. Okay. All right, so you're good? Yeah. Are you bracing? Yeah. <laughs> See that? Okay, you're falling forward. All right, so you're not strong. And that yeah. is simulating the pressure of the bike braking. Yeah. Now I want you to go as far back as you can and get up super strong. Get those elbows up. Grip as hard as you can with the knees. Okay, you ready? Now push, 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 push. <laughs> okay, see the difference? Yeah. And it's a couple inches. Yeah. And all that is is your body position. Okay, so you've got to think, if you're in here, you're super weak. All right, the bike's going to get unsettled. Yeah, you're stronger. You can cause those mistakes. And all it is is leading back here and you're so f***ing strong. Yeah. It's like doing a push-up. If you're doing a push-up like that, yeah. you can punch it out. Okay, yeah. and if you do a push-up like that, Super hard. Yeah. Okay, it's just about okay. simplifying these little things. So that is not only going to help with fatigue, but it's going to minimize mistakes. Yeah. And that's what we're really looking to do today, is yeah. minimize mistakes. I want you to stand back up. In what position? In like, yeah, just like a normal, as if you're taking off riding. Okay, so bring your hips a little bit further forward. That's it, perfect. Elbows out, nice and strong. So always for you, you need your elbows out more. Like you need to be like, this is what I'm doing. Like over-exaggerate it, because <laughs> if you over-exaggerate it, you're then going to get comfortable in that Yeah, position. true. Okay, and like, yes, Today, it's going to feel uncomfortable in the positions you're getting into, but once you get used to those positions, you'll be yeah. such a better rider. Yeah. Okay? And that's what it's all about, like learning. It's like doing a new sport for the first time. It's always going to feel uncomfortable until you get used to it. Yeah. Now, when you're accelerating, your bike does the exact opposite of when it's braking. Okay, so every time you accelerate in that position, you want to lead forward, okay, with your shoulders, as though you're going into a rugby tacky. Yeah. Tackle. So I want you to hold your front brake on, and I'm going to hold your bike so it doesn't like fall off the stand, but I want you to go and touch your thighs on the handlebars. Thighs on the handlebars. That's it, shoulders <laughs> forward, get right down. Get your head like right down near the front fender. What? That's it, elbows up, elbows up, elbows up. Perfect, looking up the track. Okay, now come back. Is that back. real? Yeah, now come back into the braking position. That's it, now I want you to go all the way forward in that attack position. What, like yeah, again? Yeah, like all the way over the front. <laughs> That's it, elbows up, looking up the track. You're always gonna be looking up the track. Perfect, now come back. Beautiful looking up the track, looking up the track. You've got to be able to use your controls. Where's your rear brake? Elbows up, elbows up, elbows up. That's it, looking up the track. Now attacking over the front of the bike. Beautiful. So see how you're hesitant there? Yeah. Like you got work that you can be doing at home, even in the shed, that's going to make you a better rider. Yeah. Okay, so like you, you can easily look up a photo of like Eli Tomac, Ken Roxon or whatever, and yeah. you'll find photos of them like leaning up over the front. Yeah. Because what that's doing, is if you're attacking and like this is one thing that you do a fair bit is you're attacking off the back of the bike so you're getting pulled all the time yeah so you're wearing yourself out so not only are you pulling but you're taking weight off the front of the bike right and you want to transfer that weight through your foot pegs into that rear wheel yeah so when you're leaning forward and you're attacking okay all that weight's gone through your foot pegs into that back wheel so it can drive yeah does that make sense yeah and same thing when you're getting back all that weight's then transferring through your foot pegs into your front wheel so you can stop yeah okay, it's like the exact same thing you're just swapping things over yeah does that make sense? Yeah. So there's so many things that we can already start to work on today yeah. that are going to help you so much out there. All right, and that's going to help minimize mistakes, okay, and be more efficient on the bike. Yeah. Okay, and they're two massive wins because this is such a physically demanding sport and dangerous. Yeah. And you don't want to be making mistakes. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to start you off on a drill, all right, going up and down the car park here, and you're literally, as you're riding along, you're going to accelerate, leaning really far forward, and then you're going to shut off, and you're going to brake. Okay. Come to a complete stop. So he's doing his demo now. He's like super far forward and super far back. I feel like I just like feel weird, but it doesn't even look that weird when he's doing it, eh? Yeah. You gotta get uncomfortable to get comfortable. In 100 meters, you're gonna do it 10 times. Yeah. And out on the track in 100 meters, you're gonna do it once. Yeah. So it's like, it's slower so it's safer. And you're gonna get way more out of it. Yeah. If it's gonna be uncomfortable. You don't wanna lead if your hips are coming forward, you wanna lead with your shoulders. Yeah. And then you wanna take off, go back, break. Really defensive, over exaggerate, wake your far back, bum just off the seat. Okay.
like when you watch me like it's not like not that i'm perfect at it but yeah you know, like it looks kind of easy yeah you know what i mean like you're struggling with it so it's like with this sport there's so many things you can work on even on the stand like, yeah you know so I mean? true what i think we can do to help you with this drill now is just do a couple laps up and back leaning really far forward yeah so you're not hesitant to go there yeah all right so i'll show you, i'll demonstrate what i mean and it's pretty self-explanatory but just so you can get comfortable with that and then when you're defending because defending's fine you can get back to you nice and strong yeah it's when you're attacking okay and these body positions are so important to get you comfortable moving around the bike yeah just forward Doing wrong? You, is it my hips? Yeah, it's your hips. And it's all that is is fear. So you're just going because like it's you're basically just doing something defensive. You're like, uh, whereas if you just go, uh, okay, like just throw yourself at your bar pad. So is my hips meant to be at my bar pad or my stump belly button? Oh, I guess it depends on how tall you are. I feel like I'm tall and that's my problem. You're no taller than me, bro. <laughs> Is that the good one? One movement. Back shoulders. Okay. Shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. I'll hold you up. Stand up. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> right now, I want you to go back in braking. I Perfect. feel like I'm getting good at that one. Elbows up. Look up track. Perfect. Now let's just go shoulders forward. Throw yourself. Hip, 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 hip. Look up, look up, look up. See how you're still hesitant like two thirds of the way through? Because it feels like I'm so tall and it's like. Not, it's just you're not used to it. That's yeah. all it is. Keep going again. So go from the middle forward. Just from the middle forward. That's it. Yes, there you go. Now go back to the middle. Just the middle, just the middle. So stand up in the middle. Stand up in the middle. Yes, there you go. Like you're riding off. Nice and strong. Looking up the track. Go forward. Excited, excited, excited. Yes, look up the track. Look up, look up. Perfect. Go back to the middle. Elbows, elbows. Can act strong. Let's go. Forward, forward, forward. Oh, there it is, bro. Now <laughs> yeah. defensive. Break, 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 break. Break, break, break. Elbows up. Come on. Do strong, bro. Now go all the way forward, forward, forward. Yo. See how you're throwing yourself with your yeah. shoulders? Yeah. Okay, dude. I get it now. Oh, now you get it. Okay? That's yeah. all it is. Let's just get that body moving. Yeah. <laughs> that was good, though. Okay. I was in second gear. feel like when you yeah. push your body forward, you're pushing with confidence. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, this is what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. This is what I'm doing. No, that's cool. I want to do that every time I go riding Yeah, you now. should. You should. 10 to 15 minutes of this stuff, yeah. every time you ride, so important. And one thing I wanted to add is that stand-up position, like just in the middle that you're doing, that's from like here to the track, track to here. Like, yeah. You're never sitting on your ass. Yeah. Always like, okay, let's create a habit, let's create a habit, let's yeah, create a habit. Yeah, true. So if you're doing a warm-up lap, stand up, yeah. elbows up, gripping that bike. <laughs> So I'm just going to get Taylor to do a few laps in like a tight circle. Yeah, go on the grass. Uh, what's so good about this drill is you can really break down what they're doing right and what they're doing wrong. So I'm just looking for, is her body far enough forward? Are her elbows up? Is she in like a nice strong bracing position? Is she smooth on the throttle and controls? And we're just going to break it down so she can take this drill out onto the track but work on it in a nice, safe environment. Is that wrong? What did you just do from here to here? Didn't ride. You sat on your ass. I need to stop Every second, bro. Every second that you do, create a habit. You've got to create a habit. So I want you to do it again. And this time, when you do it, I want you to be like dead still with your throttle. So just like really consistent. Yeah. All right, because we've got some loose gravel underneath the grass that if you are a tiny bit too aggressive, it's going to unsettle the bike, yeah. okay? And we want to keep that bike as settled as possible to try and help that confidence grow, yeah. okay? Because once that confidence grows here, it's gonna grow out there. The next thing I want you to do is get your bum right at the front of the bike, yeah. right? So I'm gonna hold you up and I'm gonna get you to show me what you think's right and then I'm gonna make a few little adjustments and yeah. then tell you what I think's right. Okay, and that feels good? Yeah. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Look up the track, head up, head up, head up. All right, beautiful. So, 
Shoulders, torso, upper body, so from like your belly button up, I'm really happy with. Where your bum is, is way too far off the side of the seat. Yeah, I always look at photos and I'm like... Yeah, so what that's doing, okay, and let me explain that, is when your bum's rolled over that far, okay, so if your bum's over here, your leg's getting pushed with the yeah. shroud out this way. All right, we yeah, want as... Yeah, but we want as much weight as close to the front axle as possible. Yeah. Okay, so we want to transfer it down through there. So I want you to go in the same position, but I don't want you, I want you bum more in the center of the seat. That's it. Yes, now try and... Oh, fuck, sorry. Yes, roll it in there. That's it. Now get your torso up a little bit. Look up the track. Yes, push this in. Look up the track. Shoulders forward, shoulders forward. Leg up, leg up, leg up, leg up, leg up. Okay, shoulders forward, shoulders forward. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, you kind of got to sit just on the top of the shroud there. See how, again, this is an uncomfortable body position? That's what we need to get you comfortable with. That's it. So as you can see now, she's kind of looking around, just trying to figure it out. So she felt it while I was there holding her. knees a little bit too straight on the inside but we're getting there we're getting there that's it it's creating that habit yeah. right so i'm gonna just quickly do a couple laps so you can sort of see yeah. okay because like feeling one thing and seeing it is two totally different things yeah. okay and i want you just to look for okay what's my inside leg doing okay where am i where are my arms at yeah. okay where's my chest at I think I have my straight elbow, like the inside arm, um, like too straight. His is like more in control. His legs so high up. Pretty sure my legs like out. <laughs> yeah, doggy. Does that make sense? Yeah, your your leg is like wrapped here, like and your inside el arm is like really straight. It's it's not. I feel like mine's like trying to be straight, but yours is like more like control straight. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's like all about figuring out. Like everyone has different bodies and bikes. Yeah. It's about figuring out what works for you. But you want it. Like a, a common um, phrase that's used is like you want to be biting your hand. Yeah. So the sharper you want to turn, the more you want to bite because by biting your hand, you're bringing your weight forward. Yeah, true. And when you're bringing your weight forward, there's more traction on the front of the foot. It's going to be better. Yeah. for me, I don't know why. Yeah, but it's because everyone likes to turn left because I have a re-brake. Yeah, true. So you can just like counter it. Yeah, true. That looks heaps better. Yeah, I felt heaps better. Yeah. The only thing I want you to change, I want you just to quickly go back out and do it now, is your outside foot was, had a gap in between the motor and your foot peg. So you are out here, your outside foot. Oh, really? Yeah, so I want you to bring that thing in. Yeah, okay. Okay, because what you're missing then is like you have your knee touching and your foot touching, yeah. but if you bring it in, you have everything. Okay? Yeah. It's only going to brace you and support you. Yeah, support true. You. There we go. It's starting to take shape. It's one of those things she's putting her body in positions that she's not actually comfortable with. So. These first couple sec sessions, when you're working on body position, they're always, the athlete or the rider is always going to struggle a little bit, okay, and they're going to look uncomfortable. But once they're comfortable in that position, their riding is going to improve tenfold. So it's just about weaning through these teething issues, and then once she gets comfortable with that, like her riding will just elevate massively, and so will her confidence. I'm going to go do a few laps now and put everything that Prady just taught me in the practice over exaggerate everything you said and yeah get like my braking 
sit far back, sit far, stand far forward, get all my cornering, body positioning dialed while I'm out there. See how I feel, yeah. For putting in all the effort that I just did then to like have the right body positioning, I was worn out way quicker than what I ever have been just from doing a few laps. But it's only going to make me a better rider. Like if I always think about the correct body positioning and always having my arm elbows up, I feel like it's just going to get my body in the right position every time. But I actually felt better, so I'm going to work on that. Like every single time I ride. Paddy and I are working on a little project together at the moment um, to bring to you girls. So it's gonna really help remember the correct technique every time you go out with the basics. I think like riding everything that you do on the bike, like it all starts from the basics. Um, so if you can like really correct that in yourself rather than like going out there trying to send every big jump, you know what I mean? Like you want to get your body in the right position every single section of the track and then that will make you a way confident rider um, and then then you will get more confidence to go and send those big jumps and everything so yeah but yeah thank you so much for watching um, let me know if you want to see more videos like this in the comments below and yeah. I surprised at all seen them rise and fall we at the top I found some relief, I finally got some